Hi, my name is Russ Johnson from Wren Sports, and we're going to show you how to service the Wren inverted suspension fork here today. First thing is take the fork out of your bike, get it into a stand so you can work on it comfortably, remove the wheel, quick release, and we're going to start on the oil side of the uh, fork here first. First thing we want to do is remove the blue cap. This is the lockout cap on top of the fork. It's a two millimeter Allen screw. And we want to carefully lift this cap off because underneath this cap is a ball and spring. Very small ball and spring. You can use a magnet if you want to lift the ball out. One millimeter Allen wrench into the spring will move the spring. Next, we want a 27 millimeter socket. We just back off the 27 millimeter. Flip the fork over. Using a one and a half millimeter on the rebound knob, we want to take the set screw out. So just loosen that up. And you want to back it out until you can see maybe three or four threads sticking out. You don't have to take it completely out. Then the cap will just lift right off. Okay, next we're going to take 9mm socket on the rebound fitting itself and just back that out. It's important when you take this out that you check to make sure you have one metal washer and also a little O-ring. Okay, so the metal washer and the O-ring right there. If the O-ring is <clears throat> left in the fork, you can just pick that out with an Allen wrench as well. Okay, now we can continue to unthread the damper, and the damper pulls right out. Okay, next, loosen up, take off the seal collar. These are just hand tight, so now you can pull the entire stanchion right out. Okay, so that's the stanchion. You can see the keys that we have here keys the fork, prevents it from twisting and turning. This is the upper bushing on the fork, and here's your lower bushing here. Okay, that's all there is to it, to disassemble the air side. Um, to put it back together again, line everything up. The keys will slide right in, press in the bushing. With the insert, you want to make sure that it's locked out. Slide it back in. Lower the stanchion a little bit so it fits. And start to thread it in. Slide your bushing up in there. Put the collar back on, that can be hand tight. We use a little piece of inner tube just to make sure we have it on there good. Come back over here, 27 millimeter. You want to tighten up the damper side to 12.5 Newton meters. Okay. 
Now we need to make sure that we line up the bottom of the insert. There's a little recessed part at the bottom of the dropout here. So when you line that up, you can push this in and you'll see it drop in. Okay, and it'll be perfectly centered in that hole. That's the way it's got to be. Next, you take your fitting, again with the single washer and the black O-ring. Drop that in. Thread it in. Once it snugs up, you want to be five Newton meters torque. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky part. We have the collar here, and we have the center pin. On the pin, there's a detent that you have to line up with the hole on this collar. So in order to do that, you have to turn the pin until you see that detent come around, which is right there. And it's just a little detent. You line up the detent on the pin with the hole in the collar. Next, you take your rebound knob, you have your set screw, you just line up the set screw so it's in line with that hole, and just push it down. Then one and a half millimeter Allen wrench, start threading it in. If you feel that the Allen bolt, before it's all the way threaded in, tightens up, then you haven't lined up the hole properly. So you want to make sure that you do that, because when you tighten it, the bolt's going to recess in a good three to four threads. Okay, once it's all the way recessed in, you want it to be snug, and then you want to back it off just a touch so that it's not pinching the shaft. Okay, that will allow you to easily turn the rebound knob, okay, which is adjusting the damper. That's all there is to that. Next, we want to reattach the, uh, re the uh, compression lever. And you want this to be in the, the right position. So first of all, you want to make sure that it's locked off, which it is. Then on this plate, we've got six holes. Three of them are open with nothing in it, and three of them have little Allen bolts. You want to back those off. They're one and a half millimeter. So back off the three one and a half millimeter bolts so that you can spin this plate. Because these set screws just pinch that plate in position. Wow. You can use your pin pliers, and you can see it's loose. What this allows us to do is position the compression lever wherever you like it. For the factory setting, okay, we like it pointing back towards the rider, but you can have it set anywhere you want. If for some reason you'd prefer the lockout position to be here, you can set it there, okay? We just prefer back here. So once you have the knob on, rotate it in the lockout direction until you position it where you want it. Then we take the lever off, or the, uh, lever off and we tighten up this plate, just snug it in with the pliers. And then these don't have to be super tight, they just have to pinch. So once you have them snug, that's good.
Okay, next we take our little spring. And again, if you look at the holes, you've got the three holes with the Allen bolts in them, and you have three open holes. We like to put it in the hole that's back where the compression lever is going to be pointing. So I just used a little Allen wrench to drop that spring in there. And we take the little tiny ball, and you want to just drop that right on top of the spring. Then take your lever, remembering that we decided we're going to have it in the backwards position. Press that on. And take your two millimeter Allen screw. Snug that down. Once you have it snug, we want to just move the lever back a little bit to tighten it. And it doesn't have to be super tight. It's only two millimeters. Just want to snug it up. It's got Loctite on it. And that takes care of it as far as the oil side goes. Just check to make sure that your hand tight. Check your compression's working. That's the oil side.